Now, a stakeholder of the Niger Delta region and member of PANDEF, Tony Oranta, has advised the government to restructure the country as part of efforts to solve the crisis in the region. According to Oranta, the restructuring will help the government account for every money invested in the development of not just the Niger Delta region, but the country as a whole. First of all, every money, every penny that Nigeria spends is really from the Niger Delta. So it's like, um, thank God we are getting something back or oh, somebody sees a need to put something back into maybe feed the goose that lays the golden egg. Monies that are invested in not just only the Niger Delta will, we should hope, um, the outcomes will be more visible, will be more fruitful, and will be more beneficial to the people, as we used to say, the dividends of democracy will be more evident. But uh, it is not just an Niger Delta question. It is a national question. We have to do things in a better way to get the best out of this system by improving the way we have been doing things before, from the way we've been doing things before, and by restructuring the country. Because that is one of the banes of this nation. The fact that we do not have fiscal federalism is dragging us back. It is forcing us to be a mono-economy. And it is not about saying we are going to invest in agriculture. You don't have to do, tell people where they should invest in. Government do the best you can. But the moment you open up the economy from a statutory constitutional point of view, you will see that people, uh, the simple uh, facts of economics where scarce resources will flow towards needs that will bring out the fastest returns and opportunities will be developed according to where strengths lie, it will just be natural and we will end up having a better Nigeria all around and in the case of the Niger Delta, faster Niger development than hitherto.